there is this idea that you are a suspect if you are an immigrant or if you are from certain parts of the world or a certain skin tone or a Muslim. I didn't come to Congress to be silent. I came to Congress to be their voice. And my leadership and voice will not be diminished if I am not on this committee for one term. My voice will get louder and stronger and my leadership will be celebrated around the world as it has been. My colleagues, I stand before you as a proud Jew and, and, a proud friend and colleague of Ilhan Omar. I don't need any of you to defend me against anti-Semitism. My friend Ilhan Omar, we have worked together to the, val the values that I treasure as an American Jew and that she treasures as an American member of the I uh, Islamic woman the only one on the Foreign Affairs Committee. Today I rise to congratulate my colleagues on voting to remove Representative Ilhan Omar from the Foreign Affairs Committee. The passage of H.R. 76 sends a strong message that we support Israel and the Jewish community. And I will stand up to anti-Semitism and defend Israel's right to exist and the right of Jews everywhere to practice their faith peacefully and safely. I will continue to speak up because representation matters. I will continue to speak up for little kids who wonder who's speaking up for them. I will continue to speak up for families around the world who are seeking justice. Whether they are displaced in refugee camps or they are hiding under their beds somewhere like I was, waiting for the bullets to stop because this child survivor of war.